Hi Gemini, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is your love story reading for the next three to four weeks from whenever you come across this video, okay? So we are looking at what's happening in your love life. What is the story that's playing out, whether you're single or you're with somebody. I'm going to try to read the messages in a very general manner and of course applying to both the situations, okay? But take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So I have pulled out some cards. Uh, this time I'm going with my old layout of the past, present and future. And we'll see what comes up for you. Okay. So let's begin. We have Goddess of the Moon and we have the Scythe. Okay. Hmm. Then we have No Place Like Home. And we have the clouds. And lastly, we have dawn. New beginnings. I like seeing this for you, Gemini. And the Lenormand cards we have are, <laughs> yeah, we've got the child and the fox. Okay. So you're being careful about it, but there is a new beginning here. Okay. You're ready. You're ready for new beginnings. Okay. So in the recent past and the present scenario, there are some challenges here. Both of these cards can be quite challenging. There may, there may have been a situation which is quite hurtful, quite painful, or you might have released it, you know, cut it off because you are feeling intuitively drawn to do that. Like your heart, your soul was telling you that something's not right about this and you had to release somebody from your life okay that is what i'm getting for most of you for others of you it could be a separation and with the moon there again there's this uh message of the phases of the moon right the cycles of the moon so something may have come to an end or it may have come to a place of like stagnancy perhaps okay but uh, usually the scythe indicates that there was some kind of separation or ending and it may have been quite sudden and may have been quite painful as well in the present you have the clouds which is telling me that you're thinking a lot you need to be a little careful about not overthinking things uh you know keeping your mind at peace and uh, yeah speaking of peace we have the home card there no place like home i feel like you're taking some time out for yourself for most of you you are single is what i'm getting okay so what you're doing is you're looking after yourself you're comforting yourself you're uh getting back into your own um sense sense of inner balance and harmony and peace and you're looking after especially your mental health is what i'm getting with the clouds there um you are still in that process is what i'm getting okay that you're beginning to come to a place where you can feel comfortable in your own skin where you can uh, feel more secure within yourself in order to then open up to new love and new connections okay and with the child of course there and the new beginnings this is definitely uh, speaking about new beginnings in love okay possibly a new connection coming your way but with the fox there i feel like you're gonna be quite strategic as well quite careful this could also be with somebody who um you know who is maybe you meet this person through work okay that is quite possible or i feel like this is your energy okay you're being very cautious very careful and strategic okay being an air sign this doesn't really surprise me but uh, it's like you you've learned okay you've grown wiser and cleverer because of what you've been through and you're not taking your chances is what i'm hearing not taking your chances with anything that looks uh, kind of similar to what was okay so you're being quite careful there which is understandable if you've got burnt in the past, that is quite understandable. So let's see with Tarot what's happening for you in the past. What's happened? Let's see. Gemini recent past. Huh. 
Okay. We have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay. And we also have the Page of Swords. We have the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting a feeling of like online romance. Maybe you were seeing someone online. Okay. And we have the tower. Yeah. So something did come to an end. Or you might have realized something about a person. And you sort of shut the door on them. You decided to push them away for whatever reason. Okay. I've, I'm hearing like discovery. Like you discovered something. This may have been an aha moment. Or you realize something intuitively about this person and uh, it didn't um, sit well with you. So that resulted in perhaps a separation, a breakup of some sorts. Or if you've had experience, you know, if you've experienced this breakup or the separation long time back, then what you were continuing to do in the recent past was perhaps, you know, yeah, seek out your options whilst you're still healing from that experience and most of it was online i feel okay but for some of you you were still kind of uh looking back okay is what i'm getting like looking back at that person trying to keep an eye on what they were doing keeping a check on them you know on social media or whatever but uh, for some of you i feel like there's a discovery that took place a discovery of something that didn't sit well with you and you decided to end things or somehow just things ended or they fell apart okay let me just adjust the camera there we go okay and in the present what's happening in the present now for gemini it's too many some cards fell out okay what's happening in the present we have judgment eight of swords ace of wands six of cups knight of swords and we have the ten of wands here okay so you're really burnt out okay firstly there's too much of thinking but what i like seeing here is that um you are rising above those challenges okay i see this card often as a sign of liberation removing yourself from the limitations of the past of things that have kept you stuck things that have uh, also kept you stuck in the past okay it doesn't necessarily have to be um, limited perception or you know limited thinking and all of that it could simply be that you were somehow stuck in the past okay we also have all of these cards here which do talk about the past and karma so we have the six of cups which is a soulmate connection but it's also connected to that sense of longing for what once or was okay uh, reminiscing nostalgia all of that so what you're currently doing is also i feel um liberating yourself from the past okay and i really like seeing the ace of wands there because it tells me that it's working whatever it is that you're doing uh it's working you are working on yourself you're working on your perceptions you're working on your fears your doubts your hiccups your hold-ups in terms of relationships and love and you're setting yourself free you're rising above all of those uh limitations and challenges okay and with the knight of swords there and the ace of wands you're raring to go okay you've got a lot of air energy here understandably because you are an air sign but i want to say um that if you come across somebody new who does spark your interest you know go a bit slow because you may be still um processing what's happened in the past firstly and secondly you might overcompensate for that by going down the same route again and being a bit too impulsive okay the knight of swords is not usually somebody who 
thinks things through you know he's more um he's more inclined to follow his inspiration and what his mind is saying at uh, breakneck neck speed okay so you are um perhaps likely to make the wrong decisions if you you don't want to overthink things but you also don't want to be too impulsive okay it's about striking a balance between the two and i feel like that's what you are doing here and there's a lot of releasing of the past that's going on here okay you're working on yourself is what i feel for others of you there could be some communication coming in from somebody from the past okay someone who uh um, may not have been able to speak up until now they were perhaps keeping an eye on you but uh there is a lot of attraction here and now they are coming back around to um speak to you okay because they feel very passionately drawn towards you and that could be the reason why you're also experiencing this overthinking and fear and doubt and all of that okay maybe they want to come in with uh, this idea of starting over with the new beginnings card there and we have venus in retrograde right now um so it's understandable that somebody from your past could come back around but for most of you what you're doing is you know you are reevaluating you're reviewing your decisions and your patterns from the past and you're releasing yourself from that okay in order to set yourself free and be open to new opportunities in love let's see what's coming up for you now gemini <laughs> that's sweet page of cups so there's definitely some communication some flirtation very sweet naive sort of energy this feels like something new okay we have the moon so we've got a lot of watery energy could be yeah speaking of water more water knight of cups wow there's definitely an offer of love on the table here the magician that's your card gemini so you could be dealing with a cancer pisces or scorpio very possible um but this is a manifestation is what i feel three of wands this could be with somebody who is at a distance from you nine of swords two of swords okay so you're still caught up in the head about something queen of swords but you are going to eventually decide what to do you're going to carefully consider this option this love offer this flirtation whatever is coming your way and you have the sun and the moon brilliant at the bottom of the deck now we have the 5 of swords so hmm i can understand why now you have that fox there as well because it's a very strategic kind of energy that's what the queen of swords does as well uh she's somebody who makes a decision based on her past experiences because of the wisdom that she's gained of course and she's really mature and even though it's all sweet and nice and you know cuddly and warm and flirtatious she's looking at it more from a logical and a practical perspective keeping in mind the wisdom that she's gained from her experiences and she's also looking at things from a very uh clear perspective now okay so i feel like there is a bit of back and forth here there is some decision that you're going to make Gemini and I was about to say cancer maybe you're dealing with a cancer if this is that past person coming around to um you know to restart something with you to res resurrect a connection then you're going to give it some due consideration okay and uh, just try not to be too up in the head and too like caught up because of that okay that is quite likely and uh yeah gemini tends to do that but um, you're also someone who evaluates options really well okay you have uh creative solutions is what i'm getting so 
you're going to be able to make a very clear and firm decision about this offer okay but the queen of swords is also someone who keeps people at an arm's distance so try not to look at it only from the mental perspective but try to bring more of the heart and soul into it as well okay yeah you've got distance soulmates what else is happening here for gemini got illusions so that was the eight of swords and you've got commitment bottom of the deck we have letting go so that's what you are in the process of right now is what i feel gemini and you could definitely be attracting towards your soulmate you have the yin and the yang energy the moon and the sun that is like divine masculine divine feminine energy okay so that's very very positive uh but yes it's it it is a bit like you know going into the unknown so it might feel quite scary at first which is why you're falling back on your ability to think rather than feel okay which is understandable but you don't want to be all about the mind either there's a need here to strike a balance between the two okay let's see what this person's message is to you if you have somebody in mind who who you were possibly dealing with let's see what they want to say to you i wish you felt for me how i feel for you okay what else do they want to say to gemini i need to love myself first okay what else i'm not sure i feel the way i used to about you so this person seems to be <laughs> quite confused whoever it is they're thinking about can we please try to make this work you remind me of my past i feel so misunderstood okay i express love differently so you have perhaps a different love language and on the basis of that there may be a lot of misunderstandings i feel okay because of that is it possible for us to go back to who we were i'm not ready to open up yet okay i feel you have a lot of options and we did start with the 7 of uh, seven of cups there You do have options I feel and with the page of cups and the knight of cups there there's definitely this fun flirty romantic energy that you're surrounded with so you may be you know meeting people uh going out dating or just generally because you're opening up to new beginnings and feeling more comfortable in your own skin you're attracting more people towards you that's how the law of attraction works and your energy your vibe is now you know it's rising so because you're feeling a lot more uplifted and open to love that's why you're attracting more people towards you and yes there is definitely one specific person who is at a distance from you who could be approaching you soon and uh, sending you some communication but then um there is a choice here that you need to make gemini there's a decision and whether you continue with the person from the past or you commit to somebody new not necessarily commit commit but you open yourself up to this new connection either way there is this need here to let go of what was okay whether that is a conflict with the person from the past or you know uh this back and forth kind of energy I do feel like there's a decision here that you need to make and beneath that we have the 2 of cups. Isn't that nice? So let's get some cards from the whispers of love to wind this up. What can Gemini expect in the next 3 to 4 weeks in their love life? Spirit, what do what do they need to know? 
Yeah, you definitely have choices to make here, yeah, Gemini. Okay, this is a really important message. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experience love. And we have choose love. You always have a choice to make. Make yours with love. What did I say about making choices but needing to have your heart and your mind um, in balance in the sense that you don't go overboard just making that choice from a logical perspective but you need to bring your heart on the on the on the same page okay and uh, get them to agree with each other is what i'm trying to say okay turn on your heart light think from your heart as well let's get one more okay we've got two we have romance wow and we have spend quality time together so there's definitely new uh there's this burst of new energy there's romance in the air you are being approached possibly by new people as well as somebody who wants to maybe reconcile someone from the past there is a choice here to make gemini and it is likely to be a heart based decision even though you are um approaching it more from the mind's perspective okay and we have embrace your emotions at the bottom of the deck allow your feelings to surface and be accepted so like i said with the queen of swords she can be sometimes quite cold in the sense that she doesn't let her emotions dictate her choices but here perhaps it will be advisable for you to accept your emotions as well okay and make that choice that decision from your heart as well so those are your messages gemini i hope this helps and uh, if it resonated let me know hit the like button if you enjoy the reading and i'm sending you much love do subscribe if you haven't i'll see you again later bye bye